Hello Sagittarius, this is Debs and this is your reading for mid-October 2023. Sagi, I hope you're well. I'm just kind of recovering from um, the Leo reading, which was pretty intense to say the least. Gladly, it had a really happy ending, but anyway. <laughs> um, Sag, I got in a vision as someone going into a bakery and they were looking at all these beautiful cakes and they thought to themselves, I usually have a blueberry muffin. I usually have a blueberry muffin and a cappuccino. And this person thought to themselves, no, you know what? I'm going to do something completely different. So this person chose chai tea and a chocolate brownie. And they sat there really enjoying this chai tea and chocolate brownie, thinking, oh my goodness, why do I always have the same thing? Why? So Sad, I think you are wanting to experiment. <laughs> you may want to explore your options in terms of love. You may want to think outside the box and take up a rather unusual hobby. What you may not be aware of, Sad, at this point of time is that if you do, for instance, join a new club or pick up a new hobby or join membership for something or something you've always thought that you might enjoy, it's going to open up your social life. And in doing so, you may well find yourself going out with someone completely different, but someone who is going to have the same interests as you. Yeah. All right, Saji, let's do this. Let's do this. Hmm. Here we go. The deck that I'm using is simply called the Gilded Tarot Royale by Chiron Marchetti. If this resonates with you, you can book a reading with me. If you want to join the channel, I put out weekly videos just for my members every Sunday. And thank you, thank you, thank you guys for supporting me up to this point of time. All right, so Archangel Michael, what do we have for my lovely Sagittarians? Thank you, Michael. Yeah. Two of Pentacles. Sad, you wanted to do something different for quite a long time. It's as if same old, same old, same old. No, I need change. But what, thinks Sag? What, thinks Sag? You could be thinking of going on a journey. You could be thinking of going somewhere completely different on holiday. That sort of thing. Got a ship and water. Or Sag, what you're thinking about is... I haven't got a lot of cash to spend on this, but I so need to, to bring some fresh energy into my life. I need a change. I need a change. Page of Swords. So Sad, you're going to be information gathering. You're going to be checking out the internet. You may be looking at events in your area. You could be going to an art gallery if you love art. You could be going to a book festival if you love to read. It could be that this is you actually delving into a creative project and this is you joining membership for something right page of pentacles in the past you may have joined something in particular sag in the past but you may have cancelled the membership quite quickly because you realized it wasn't for you you may have thought, well, that was a bit of a waste of money. It was $200 a year, but I never used it. I never went, whatever this is. You may have been drawn into something by a friend of yours. And this is you thinking, yeah, it really wasn't for me. Just not for me. So you're looking for something different, Saji. Yeah, King of Wands, Saj, this is you. So I could be connecting with a masculine. Or Sag, if you're a feminine, you could have wanted to gen up your social life. But if you met a king of wands, I don't think they stayed. You may have found out they were juggling you with somebody else. And this is you thinking, OK, I need to get myself into a bigger social group. And this is you linking your hobbies, your interests, things you love to do with your social life right? If you love tennis, you're thinking, okay, I'm going to join a tennis club. If you love to cook, you could be learning to cook Italian or something. You're definitely moving towards your interests. Yeah. 
the Hierophant. For some of you, this is you considering moving forward into a spiritual business. For others of you, this is you really wanting to get immersed in your community. The Hierophant can be a large group of people. You could be thinking about a Taurus. Queen of Wands, Saji, this is you, beautiful energy. So yes, you could be a male, you could be a female, you could have let go of a soulmate, realised that they weren't for you. If you're sitting in your feminine energy, Sag, you're fired up. You're looking at your creative talents. You could be feeling, you know what, I don't look too bad these days. I'm going to get out there and see who I can meet. If you're a masculine, you could have your eye on a fire sign female. Okay. What you're fearing is just being stuck. The hangman is you... Doing the same thing every single day, 24-7, buying the same food, going to the same places, reading the same books. Yeah, you're just needing change. You're bored, Saggy. Ooh, now in the environment is the Queen of Pentacles. So, Sag, you could be linking in with a friend of yours who could be an earth sign who's going to introduce you to a different group of people. This could be somebody who also has a membership for something and is inviting you to tag along. If you're a masculine Sag, you could be trying to make a decision between a fire sign and an earth sign. <laughs> this for you could be simply love. You could be trying to make a decision. Who do I really want to be with, right? Hmm. But what you do know, what you're hoping for, is major change and transformation. Out with the old, in with the new, just can't be living this day in, day out. So bored type of life anymore. Judgment. Saggy, you're making the judgment call, and that's your card of Sag, to just make a few changes. I'm hearing it's long overdue. Make a few changes. Clarification for you, Ace of Swords. You may be deciding to cut out the past, Sag. You may be deciding enough is enough, right? I'm not going to go back to the usual things I used to do. Yeah, definitely wanting the new. Knight of Wands. This is you wanting to be fired up and passionate again after feeling a bit stuck in a rut. That's what I'm getting. Now, this is someone who has... A lot of bright ideas is what I'm getting. Queen of Pentacles for many of you. Eight of Wands, they may be asking you if you want to join them in going to an event. They could be picking you up in their car. They could be saying, well, it's only like an hour and a half train. I could see you there. This is somebody who is going to purchase a ticket for you and you're going to join them. I thought I'd just get two tickets just in case you really wanted to go. And this is you thinking, you know what? Yeah, God, it's been so boring recently, right? Seven of Cups, they have quite a few irons in the fire. They may know some very interesting people. This is someone who also has a very broad set of interests. This is an interesting person. And this is you feeling, well, who knows? Let's go for it, right? Underneath the deck, we have Eight of Pentacles. Sad, you have been working too hard. It's time for you to have a little bit of you time, right? Eight of Pentacles, working, 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 working. You need some fun. Fun in the sun, Sag. <laughs> even if it's cold, even if it's autumnal sunshine, you need a little bit of fun. Now, this could be you having a bright idea, thinking about doing something very, very different than you used to do. The world, it could involve some travel. You could be going on the internet and getting some bright ideas. Page of Wands, there's one idea that's going to stick out like a sore thumb. You're going to think, yeah, that's definitely me. Definitely me. You're just going to be trying your luck. With the Three of Wands, Sag, I think you're waiting for your ships to come in, but there's definitely is also a strong sense of travel. You may have to travel to go to this thing, this event, this festival, this concert, whatever this is. But it's going to put you in the path of lots of interesting people. And I think you're going to go with this Queen of Pentacles. Yeah. So, Saji, let's get into this. Archangel Michael, what is the Two of Pentacles crossed through the Page of Swords? Getting information, trying to decide what to do. What could I do? Yeah. Five of Pentacles. So, Sad, you may be thinking, well, whatever I do, I don't want to spend too much money. It can't be something too expensive. 
but you're just feeling a bit bored. You're just feeling a bit bored. Justice, yeah, you could be bored in your job. You could be bored if you're spending a lot of time running a business. God, I just want to get out of here, right? Yeah, you are wanting to just move into something different. Wheel of Fortune, the divine is moving you forward into something quite exciting. They want you to enjoy this because maybe Sag, it's been a while since you got out, you did something different, right? Four of Swords, you've been thinking about what you wanted to do because for some of you, you've literally been working, coming home, cooking supper, watching a movie, or watching something on TV and going to bed. I mean, what you're realising is you've just been coasting. That's what I feel. Oh, wow. Temperance. You've just been coasting and you're just bored, Sag. You are bored. Oh, OK. Three of Swords in reverse spun around. So you could also have been suffering a little bit of heartbreak. But I feel with a card in the reverse, Sag, if you have been, you're kind of coming up the other side, right? You're feeling a lot better. And now what you're thinking about is, I want to gen up my social life. I want to pick up some new hobbies. I want to do something different. Yeah. So what happened in the past, Michael, with the Page of Pentacles? You may have joined a group. You may have started dating someone. What happened with the Page of Pentacles? Okay, Hermit. You may have started dating someone, but realised that they didn't really want to go out that much or they're a little bit of a homebody. But I don't think this person was for you if you were dating someone in the past. Hi, Priestess. They may have kept some secrets. Hmm. Or you may have had a choice between a Virgo and a Pisces and decided just to be friends with both, maybe, thinking, well, neither are really right for me. You were very attracted to this person, though, Sad, but I feel as if you had other things on your mind. Four of Cups, you weren't really interested in love in the past. Now, for my girls out there who may have met a King of Wands, this is someone very attractive. But you may have felt they were just all about the passion, not really wanting to commit. Mm. Ooh, Seven of Swords. There could have been some sneakiness, Saji. There could have been some sneakiness. Four of Wands. Okay. This is somebody who may have actually been locked into another connection. You didn't know about that. Now, the Four of Wands is also, though, you, Sag, male or female, stuck at home, dying to get out. You know, I just want to get out of here. Just want to get out of here. Five of Wands, feeling a bit of internal conflict. But what do I do? Where do I go? I don't want to spend too much money. Yeah. I feel a few ideas came your way or people had some suggestions, but I don't think they were of interest. That's where I feel. Yeah, there were a few people that suggested what you could do, but Seven of Wands, mm, you weren't that excited about it. You weren't that excited about whatever they suggested. It was sort of, yeah, been there, done it, got the T-shirt. Not really for me. So what you're thinking about, Sag, is, well, for some of you, you could be thinking about marriage. You could be thinking about expanding your social life. This is community. For some of you, you're delving into spirituality. You could be connecting with a Taurus in the immediate future who is going to be opening the door to a few different people. And they may be suggesting that you sort of broaden the net. You spread the net wider. You see what else is out there. What is on Saji's mind? Three of Cups. This is you feeling, I just want to get out. I want to kick up my heels a little bit. I've been working too hard. I've been in too much. King of Cups. You may be connecting with a Pisces, Cancer or Scorpio masculine. And this is someone that you may feel is... Someone that you could spend some time with, but they're not really open. They don't express their feelings. King of Swords. For some of you, you're thinking about an Aquarius, Libra or Gemini. Or basically, Sag, what you're thinking about is 
King of Cups, King of Swords, the men I meet aren't right, or the people I communicate with either don't express themselves, they're not really that much fun to be with, or they're just very logical. They don't have a sense of humour. I think you just want to have some fun, Sag. <laughs> you just want to have some fun, Saggy. Six of Swords, yeah, you're moving away from people that can't express their feelings or people that are too logical, people that are too blunt, people that are strategic. Even as friends, Sag, you're trying to find your group. That's what I feel. You're trying to find the right group of people for you. Because, Sag, you're all about doing things that are very different. And if you've been stuck in a rut for too long, doing the same old thing day by day, the routine gets boring and you end up feeling a bit down. You're the adventurers of the tarot, Sag. You need to try different things just to keep your mind active, just to keep yourself feeling as if you're living life. You're not just on a treadmill, you know? Yeah. So, Sanji, in the immediate future, we got the Queen of Wands, which I think is you, and someone sat in the Queen of Pentacles. Now, this is either somebody with a little bit of money. I think they know quite a few people. They're very interesting in terms of their hobbies, their interests. This is somebody who may be buying tickets for something and inviting you. And I think you should go. If you're a male Saggy, I've got to be honest, Sag, you may be a little bit bored with the people that you've met. And you may wonder whether or not you should move towards a fire sign or an earth sign. You may be contemplating what you want for your future, Sag, but I think because you're sitting in a bit of a bored energy, you possibly go for a Queen of Wands rather than a Queen of Pentacles. And the Queen of Pentacles may also be somebody who's a bit defensive, firing off messages, yeah, Sag, you're, you're just looking at other options. Well, you probably are, but I don't think you should feel guilty about that. So let's go with the first message, which is that you are a female Saggy, possibly connecting with an earth sign, could be a great mate of yours, could be a family member, could be somebody at work. This is someone who is going to invite you to an event. Let's have a look at this Queen of Pentacles, Michael. What is her energy? Queen of Swords. She has a lot of people that she knows. She can be pretty forthright. She stands up for herself. But she's a communicator. She's a communicator. Knight of Pentacles. She wants to go on a trip with you, Sag. I mean, this could be like a girl's weekend away or something like that. No matter your age. This is someone who just wants you to go for it. That's what I feel. That's what I feel. The fool. She just wants you to have some fun, Sag. She may say, oh, for goodness sake, you're always working. Or you're always just doing housework at the weekends. For goodness sake, come with me. I've got tickets to something. This is someone who I feel jumps in and gets stuff done. There's no fear with this woman. Yeah, she's a manifester. This is somebody with a lot of strings to her bow. She can manifest whatever she wants. She's fired up and passionate. She's got a bit of money behind her. She knows a lot of people. So this is someone, Sag, who's going to open doors for you. And I feel you need it. Hmm. Six of Pentacles. She's very generous hearted. This is somebody who may even work in a charity, doing something like that. She could be divorced. She could be sitting there with divorce settlement, feeling a bit bored. She may see you as somebody very bright, very sparky, somebody full of good ideas. But I feel in this instance, Sad, she wants to pull you out of this rut that you've been in. Hmm. Anything else about this woman? Okay, the star. She could be well known. She could be an Aquarian. She may be a star in her own right. She could have links to membership only clubs. This is someone who's also saying to you, Sad, the world is your oyster. Life is what you make it. You need to figure out what you want and just go for it rather than doing the same thing over and over again. Hmm. What's she saying to Sag? What's she saying to Sag? Come with me. Nine of Cups is going to be a great event. There's going to be a lot of interesting people there. It could be a social event. Could be a wine tasting. 
It could be that she drags you to a party and this is you thinking, well, I don't usually go to this type of thing, but why not? There's going to be a lot of camaraderie. It's going to be a fun event. I think she just wants you to get out of maybe a little box you kept yourself in symbolically. Yeah, eight of cups. Come on, let's go. Let's go. I'll pick you up. I think, Sag, this may be a turning point for you because this seems to be what this reading is all about. An event or a party or a do of some kind or her introducing you to a new group of people that is going to cause you to sort of change direction. It's going to give you the fire, the spark that I think you need because you've reached a sort of plateau, Sag. That's what I feel. What else is she saying? Okay. <laughs> really, Michael? Okay, I'm hearing don't take your laptop and don't take your phone. Leave your phone at home. She doesn't want you to think about work or anything like that while you're there. She just wants you to enjoy it for the social event that it is. Rather than seeing it as a way of bringing in new clients or something like that, she just wants you to enjoy it for what it is. What else is she saying to Saj? Four of Pentacles. Saj, she knows you don't want to spend a lot of money. So what she's saying is, don't worry. It's not going to be expensive. I'm going to get the tickets. I'm going to pay. It's fine. Mm. What else is she saying to Saj? <laughs> she's got loads of money, this woman. Ten of Pentacles. She's rolling in money. She may have had a very successful career. I feel as if, Saj, she may be a little bit older than you. You may see her as kind of a mentor, but yeah, I mean, she may have had a big payout, she got divorced, or she may have done well running a business, or she could have invested a lot of money in her youth, and she's done really well now. Let's have a look, Saj, what are you going to say? <laughs> Ace of Cups. Um, do you think I'm going to meet anyone there? Do you think there are going to be single people there? I think that you're getting quite excited about this. What are you saying, Saj? <laughs> I'm trying to find someone reliable, stable, trustworthy, a long-term partner. I'm struggling here. Who's going to be there? Any hot guys is what I'm hearing. But any hot guys who commit? <laughs> Saji. <you. laughs> Knight of Cups. I need some love in my life, says Saj. Find me a man. Okay. Or woman, depending on who you are, right? Okay. I'm looking for my emperor. <laughs> Saj. All right, so, Saji, we have you going on a trip. This is going to be interesting. This is someone that I'm hearing always pulls rabbits out of hats. This is someone who does things that are really unusual, knows people from all walks of life. This is someone that is going to make sure that you have a good time. What are you thinking, Saj? <laughs> Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, why not? I'm I'm single. I'm going to put on something nice. I'm going to go. Who knows what's going to happen? So you're going to go to this event, Sag. Don't be scared. Nine of Swords is you up at night. Oh, what if people don't like me? What if it's not really for me? What if it's a waste of my time? What if I can't get my work done before I go? Sag, just don't stress. Just do it. Just do it. You'll, you'll get what you need to get done, done. Don't stress about that. What is the energy between these two people? Ace of Pentacles. Sad, this is a really good friend. This is somebody you may have known for a while. They could live in another area. They could have recently moved to another area. This is someone who is solid as a rock. In terms of a friend, you can rely on this person. This is someone who always has your back. This is someone also who may have acted as a mentor or a confidant, Sag, to you in your life. Yeah. This is a bit of an unusual reading, but there we go. We're going to go with it. What is the judgment card for my Sagis? Page of Cups. Sag, you may meet somebody there that you're interested in. What is their situation? Okay, wow, Ten of Swords. They've been through a very painful ending. So they may still be healing, Sag, but the Divine is saying 
this is your person this is your person two of wands i think you guys would exchange numbers exchange emails you may feel they're not ready to make any decision about dating you that sort of thing but Sand, you're going to keep in touch you're going to keep in touch Ace of Wands, there's a lot of attraction between you and this person. It could come a bit out of the blue. The Lovers, yeah. There's a strong soul tie here, Sag. You could be moving forward with a younger water sign, another fire sign, or a Gemini. Six of Wands. This is somebody who is doing extremely well in the work that they do. They could be looked up to. I think this person's going to pique your curiosity, Sag, because this is someone who seems to be well known. They may have a lot of followers, that sort of thing. But you may feel as if they wear a bit of a false mask and they're a different person when you meet them face to face. This is somebody who's got a business persona and a private persona. And I think you're curious as to who they are. You're going to be getting to know this person. What is their energy? Hmm. Nine of Wands. They're pretty weighed down with work. They've got a lot on their plate. But with the moon, they don't moan about it. This is somebody who enjoys the work that they do. Quietly, what they're hiding is they don't have a lot of free time. They get pretty tired, but they love what they do. Could be a Cancerian. Three of Pentacles, Sad, you're going to be building a friendship with this person, a friendship to begin with, because they have been through the Ten of Swords. They're not ready for a relationship. But this is you feeling that this could turn into something later on. What does your friend think about this person? Empress, they think they're perfect for you. They can imagine you marrying this person, Sad. What else are they saying to Sad? I think your friend has known this person for quite a while, maybe seven years. This is a good person. This is someone who works hard, pretty traditional. Somebody who saves, not spends. Somebody you can rely on is what I'm getting. Six of Cups. Yeah, this woman has known this person for quite a long time, maybe even since childhood. This person could have met your friend in the area that they both grew up in. So your friend is basically saying, Saj, this is a safe bet, but this person is definitely not ready yet. What's on Saj's mind? What's on your mind, Saj? Eight of Swords. You're going to find yourself thinking about this person quite a lot, which might be unexpected. How is Saj feeling? Queen of Cups. The Saj, even though you two may be developing a friendship, you feel that very quickly you could fall in love with this person. Could this lead to something in the future? Two of Cups, yes, it could. Yes, it could. This could lead to a beautiful relationship in the future, Saj. So I think you're just going to go. You're going to think, to hell with work. I need to have a break. Your friend is going to be taking you somewhere quite interesting. It could be a massive social gathering. It could be a ball. It could be a big festival, whatever this is. It's going to put you in contact with lots of different people. And one particular person that you meet, Sag, you're going to exchange details. And I think you guys are gradually, over time, going to be getting to know each other. This could lead to a proper romance or a commitment in the future, Saj. So if you're invited to an event, Saj, around about this period of time, mid-October-ish, go. No excuses. Go and enjoy it. I want to get some additional messages from the Divine because this is a really unusual reading. Okay, here we go. Let's just see what comes through. What have we got for my Saggies, Michael? Thank you. TikTok. 
Sad, you may feel the clock's ticking. I don't know, it could be your biological clock. I'm not sure. It could be this is you feeling, I'm not getting any younger. Or it could simply be that you need to jump on this if the opportunity arises, because this woman is gonna have tickets or is gonna be able to get tickets for you, okay? And what they're saying is, go for it, go for it. Yes, Sag, never ending story. Sag, you may have your life ruled by your clock, right? I have to start work at half past eight or nine o'clock. I then have a break for lunch. I then got to carry on with work. I then got to go home, feed the pets or feed the kids. And uh, Sag, you've got to get out of the rut. You're so bored. You need this. You need this. Yeah, go for it, Saggy. It's time to leave this never-ending story. You need to go for this. It's looking good, Saggy. Message in a bottle. Yeah. So your friend Saj is going to be sending you a message. They're going to be sending you a message and inviting you somewhere. All the glitters. Okay, it could be quite a smart event. You may need to dress up. There could be a lot of influential people there. Now, all the glitters is usually suggesting all of all the glitters is not gold. But in this particular reading, I'm feeling this is quite a prestigious event. Higher power. The divine wants you to go for this. Okay. This is going to lead you to someone that I feel is going to be very important in your life. Very important in your future, Serge. Flexible. They want you to be flexible, though. Don't say no. Don't say, oh, well, I'm going to have to move a load of things. I don't think so. Just try and be flexible. A leg up. The divine really wants you to meet this person, whoever they are. Here and now. It's going to be happening soon. They're also saying to you, Sag, live in the moment. Live in the moment to the sea. They want you to delve into your emotions, but they also may be suggesting that you might have to cross water for this event. Mm. Yeah, there's going to be a change in the wind, Sag. This event is going to put you in the path of someone very special that I think you may be developing a relationship with in the future. So no excuses, Saggy. Pack your bags. If you need to reschedule a few things, go for it. The divine is putting this person in your path. They're saying, just, just go, be flexible. Because they want you to get out of this rut. It's time to leave this rut. Okay? All right. So Saj, <laughs> an unusual reading. Um, underneath the deck, new life. Wow. Ooh, is this going to be your person? They could be your person. Okay. But I'm leaving it there. I really hope you've enjoyed this reading. Take care of you. Send any love and light your way and many blessings. Bye, Saji.